For people in the north, every minute in bars and pubs counts this weekend. They are already weary of lockdown restrictions here. And next week, it's getting tougher. But at what expense? A non-negotiable financial package from the Chancellor announced this week is simply not good enough. A sign of unity from Labour leaders of the north. It's their towns and cities set to face stricter measures. We do not believe that payment will be sufficient to prevent multiple uh, business failure, not just in Greater Manchester, but across the northwest and the whole of the north. But they're asking for more to ensure the government keep their manifesto pledge to level up the country. As others have said, there is a very real concern and risk that instead of levelling up, COVID is going to very significantly level down. And those communities that were already deprived, already struggling economically, are suffering uh, even greater as a result of the COVID crisis. Liverpool, usually a vibrant city, is now home to the highest number of coronavirus cases in the country. It's why on Wednesday it will feel the full force of the government's new Tier 3 restrictions. The mayor believes almost 1,700 pubs and bars will be crushed by these new measures and the knock-on effect could be devastating. Oh, it's going to be absolutely devastating for them. You know, there's going to be nothing for them to do. You know, I don't know what's going to happen to them. You know, it's going to be very, um, it's going to be very difficult financially for them. But this city needs to suppress the virus desperately. What's more alarming here than any other part of the country is hospital admissions. Intensive care doctors from the Royal Liverpool and other surrounding hospitals are telling us they're seeing more and more patients with COVID-19. They say the scenes from inside there are reminiscent of the height of the pandemic. Around about March, the hospital was um, was looking after around about 400 COVID patients. So our numbers now today being 259 is getting very close to that. At the moment, it's around about 15% of um, patients that are in the hospital that are COVID positive. And we know that when that gets to 20%, that's when we're really going to start struggling to keep doing all the other things that we know need to keep happening. Can you not put that anger, anger and annoyance to one side and accept what agreements have been put on the table quickly to save lives? I'm afraid I don't really accept the premise of your question because I did accept that at the very beginning of what I, what I said. I said... There's a serious situation um, and there are rising cases um, in, in the north and we will do what is needed to protect our residents. The government has said they're continuing to work closely with local leaders on how they can combat the virus together and will keep all financial support under review. But at the heart of this is people, millions of them, who this weekend will be grabbing the last opportunity to socialise. The pressure is being piled on from this region and whilst for now this is a northern issue, it's inevitable. The same battle for the rest of the country is not far off. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News in Liverpool.